and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be the first tutorial that I'm doing with my new hair. Yes, I am bald, I am shaved, I did a grade three <laughs> all over. Um, this is a wig. So I did the brave the shave and I'm so happy that I done it. It was an incredible life experience. It's always been a bucket list thing. If you wanna check out my vlog for that day and see the actual shave, then click around for the link to that video. But yes, this is my first tutorial where I'm having shaved hair. Um, I was really scared about putting this out because on YouTube I feel like there are standards of the beauty gurus and what beauty vloggers and things should look like and it's all very glam and a lot of girls wear extensions, obviously I'm wearing a wig right now, a lot of vloggers do wear wigs. So I was really, really scared to put this out because I didn't want to get haters or negative comments, but you know, I'm opening myself up to the world and I want to show women that you can be beautiful, you can be feminine, even with no hair. Females put so much on their hair with their identity and things. So yeah, I want to prove that you can still be beautiful. So this is me and I hope you like this tutorial look. So I'm starting off with my primer. I love using this. I've been using it for a couple of months now and I just love the look that it gives to your foundation. It's so flawless. And I've been absolutely obsessed with this foundation. I've literally finished this tube already and I've only had it for like a month and a half maybe. But I just love how it feels on my skin. It's so lightweight but the coverage is incredible and it blends so well. I absolutely love this foundation. And then I'm going to be using this foundation. I've started using this under my eyes instead of concealer. I find that it's a lot more lightweight, but the coverage is just as good as what I normally use. So I've really been enjoying using this under my eye area. Now I'm just going to set my concealer and foundation in my T-zone and around my mouth area, just so that it doesn't budge all day. And I love using this brow pencil. It's by Soap and Glory and it's just amazing. The tip is so thin that it gives proper hair like strokes and you don't have to sharpen it, you just wind it up. It's a real natural look. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look harsh. So I absolutely love this pencil. And now I'm just putting a matte brown powder over the top just to make it more bold and stand out more and to set the pencil. And then ta-da! If only it was that easy. So now I'm just doing a bit of contouring on my cheek areas, forehead, nose and around my chin area. And I'm just going over with bronzer. I love this bronzer by e.l.f. I haven't stopped using it. It's so good. It gives a real nice glow. And then I'm using my Nutcracker Compact, which I'm obsessed with. I love the colour of this blush. It's a really nice blush that just gives that flushed colour. Then rosy cheeks, it's not too harsh and it's so easy to blend. And then check out this glow. I love this highlighter. It's so nice and the glow, oh, you can see me from space. It's amazing.
So now I'm going to start creating that peachy eye look all over with a light colour just so the eyeshadows don't stick to my foundation and I can blend them better. Because I have hooded eyes I'm going to create my crease line above so I'm just using this so I've got a template to work on to create the eye look. I'm going to go in with this bronzy colour, this is going to be my transition shade. So I'm just working that back and forth and blending it into the crease template that I made. Blend, blend, blend. And now I'm just going in with an orange. This orange is so pigmented, I love it. So I'm just working that through the bottom of my crease and then on either side of my lid, just so it makes it really pop. And I find that these colors look so nice with my green and blue eyes. So I'm going back into the same palette and now I'm getting a peachy colour. This colour is, oh my god, I don't know why I haven't tried this colour before. It's so pretty, so I'd definitely be wearing this a lot more I think. But I'm just working that over the orange and blending it into the brown that I put in my crease. And it's just so pretty. I love this colour. And back into the same palette, I'm going for like a ready orange this time just to go in the corner of my crease and then work it through the crease a tiny bit not too much though and just working that back and forth and blending it so I'm just buffing all that out so it all blends properly because I hate when it's all patchy and you can see the colour blocks, I like it to be all blended and smooth and transition into each other. So now I'm going in with this rosy pink. I think this looks really pretty on the lid with the oranges and peaches and just packing that on. Then I'm going along my waterline with the orange left on the crease brush that I used. So I found this really amazing eyeliner, I've never used this before, it's by Too Faced, it's the liner tool and it makes winged liner so much easier, I love this liner, I've never been able to do a wing quite as impressive as this, so it's amazing, it's got little dots so you can just line them all up and it works perfectly. And my favourite lashes, I love the Wispies. I only just discovered these like last month and I am obsessed. I love them, they look so natural, I love that the band is thin. So now I'm just going under the lashes onto my natural lashes with some mascara and I'm just going to put some of this eyeliner in my waterline just to tie all the eye looks together and my favourite lip liner by MAC I love this well of course I'm just lining my lips to match my lipstick which oh my god I'm obsessed I'm obsessed with this NYX lipstick I like love it. It's the lip voltage and it's just the perfect nude. It goes on so smooth, it's like butter. And then I'm just going to go over with my Make Me Matte by Saturated Colour because I love matte lipstick. I'm obsessed and yeah, I just need more matte on my lips. See, it is so pretty. And I'm just going to finish off this look with my NYX 
matte finish. This stuff makes your makeup stay on all day. And that is my tutorial look of my soft peachy. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to click like and subscribe.